guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by please subscribe please subscribe and join the gang if you're not new here thank you for stopping by thank you for always watching my videos i love you guys so so much um yeah i want to t i don't know if i'm gonna take you guys with me but i want to go to the school we have uh another sunset music festival like the one i had gone to a few weeks back so there's another one another one thank you i want to go to that i'll see if i can be able to sneak in a few videos for all those people who are always asking aren't there people in carbondale you're always alone you're gonna see people you are gonna see people so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna chill with my friends I have friends now, like, that's so cool. Anyway, yeah. Good morning guys i want to show you something <laughs> i want to show you something don't laugh don't laugh or you can laugh i don't i don't really care but like so i i, <laughs> I did some condros not professional condros because this is the first time i've actually like done my whole head i want to show you guys <laughs> Oh my god. These three look kinda decent, but this this ones are just a mess. <laughs> They're a mess. And I look so African today. Bro, I look so African. Hmm. You know, with my hair straight, I've been passing off as a black American. My accent sells me out but i've been passing off but today today i look african bro i could start speaking swahili and everyone will just be <laughs> i love this tree actually i think i just need to practice more i did this because i want to come back and install one of the wigs and take content but i wanted oh joy us but this someone said i'm a miss skin joy us Today the sun is out. Jaya US, I say, Jua, yeah, you, yes. You motherfucking ass. Ah. Now I'm US and Hongas. I don't know if we share the same sun with other countries, but like the sun here slaps different. Period. Um, <laughs> so I posted my last video. And someone was like, please, can you drop the accent? Like, drop the fake accent. Please drop the accent. <laughs> and I catch myself in the accent sometimes. It's not like I'm like, I keep Johnny Supu. It's been a while. Mm. It's not like, <clears throat> it's not like I'm forcing. Okay, I am. <laughs> I am forcing. Because, let me let me just tell you guys. Because when I talk to you guys, if you, and it's just me recording, you can hear I still have... I can, okay, maybe you cannot hear because if you are Kenyan, it's it, you, like... I'm just speaking normally to you. But when to these guys, this is a heavy accent for them. It's like so heavy. 
they can barely understand most of the things I say. I have to sometimes spell it out. Like, there's this day I was talking about grass. Like, just grass, grass. And I said it like a million times. And I was like, like I had to pull out a picture. And they were like, oh, grass. I'm like, but that's what I've been saying. They're like, no, your African accent is so heavy. So they're like, when I'm saying it, it's like grass. And when they're saying it, it's grass. It's like a small, it's like a slight difference. But it makes such a big difference to them. And they don't hear their own accent. They hear mine. I don't hear my own accent. I hear theirs. So it's just like, oh my God. The other thing, like they call God, God. <laughs> they said they like to them is like oh do you believe in god and i'm here i'm like yes i believe in god so it's like god god it's a whole process so when i video myself speaking to maybe the uber driver or just me speaking to conversing with anyone who's actually from here i'm gonna try to speak like them so that the conversation can flow otherwise it will just be like pardon pardon what is that can you spell it what are you talking about i'm not trying to feel like i don't know how to speak english i do and i can fake their accent they can't fake my accent so yeah that's just that's just uh just putting it out there if you see me speaking different with people it's because I'm just trying to have a flowing conversation. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to go through all that. I'm African. Um, new here. My nah. <laughs> Guys, I've just arrived at the rec center, but today's on Saturday, and I didn't confirm what time they open on Saturday. If they're not open, this is my sign. I'm just going back home because. I don't even feel like working out today. Let me check the time. So it's like 9.30. If they say they're opening at 10, they've lost me. They've lost me. So, oh, they're open. <laughs> they're open. So it's Saturday 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, let me go work out. <laughs> oh, I wanted a sign. Uh, did a sign from God okay like damn she her move like damn she her move like damn she her move like damn, she in her mood. She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. Sucking my waist, so I'm loving my bands. Like a million views in a day. It's so many ways to get paid. I tried dipping, he begged me to stay. Babe, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. In the party, he just wanna rump. Big boots in the bus, they pump. She a baddie, she knows she a 10. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like, I tell you, always stay hot. Oh, they mad cause I keep making bops. Oh, she mad cause I'm taking her spot. If I was bitches, I'd hate me a lot. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, get money too. Like damn, she in her mood. No friends, I don't fuck with the fake. Saying they love me, but one in my place. Step in the party, I'm looking the baddest. So the paparazzi in my face. Pretty bitch, but I came from the gutter. Said I'd be lit by the end of the summer. And I'm proud that I'm still getting bigger. Going viral is getting them sicker. Hi guys, get ready with me to go create contents. My brushes. Another one. Um, I want to dye the hair real quick. Oh, okay. But I'm just gonna dye the, not dye, putting foundation. I'm just gonna put it on the side because it's a four by four wig and I only want to put foundation where the lace is gonna be at. 
this is my pretty side do you guys have pretty sides this is my pretty side the side where i have a nose ring is my pretty side my wig is um what is it called glueless like you can glue it but i don't want to glue it that's why i got it i, I really wanted a glueless wig so yeah guys i was just i had told myself that i'm going to feel my makeup my, like my makeup today but then i started listening to music and forgot i just remember right now but i've just done my eyes only like conceal my eyebrows concealed done um a brown sh eyeshadow and then i have not put any foundation on i like going in with my concealer first just so that i can clean it out with the foundation later because sometimes the concealer can be too harsh like yeah so that's what i do so many people have been asking for a makeup tutorial and i feel like uh, i don't know child i feel like there are so many makeup tutorials on youtube i just don't want to be one of those girls who's adding another one <laughs> but i could do it for like instagram not really maybe tiktok and then the other thing is many people have been asking me to do tiktok because i actually lost my my previous tiktok account i had a good tiktok account which was active and everything but i lost it and the only way to gain it is for them to send the code to my number because i had registered with my phone number and i came with my phone number here and it cannot receive text messages so i'm just like ah, i have to start a new tiktok that's why I've been like trying to like not do it, but I am going to do it. So you see how crazy I look. I like to, I have this rich beauty blush. I bought it from Kenya. If you're in Kenya, get this, get this. So it has like three, come on now. It has three um, blushes. I've been using this one i have not yet tried this one and i tried this one but it's kind of the third one has um, highlighter like glitter something like that but it kind of gets lost from all the powder so immediately after my concealer i go in with my blush i saw this trick on tiktok where you no longer because i used to apply my blush just above my contour but now i apply it um on the concealer at the corner of my eye because it gives you a lifted look like a facelift i just tap that in so when you do this um i also go in with a powder blush but this will make the blush pick up pigment if then if i don't do the cream blush before so for my foundation i always try and cons and apply first on my nose and just create that and then this is my favorite favorite foundation if it ends i will die but i think revlon is worldwide i think i can get it here this is my favorite foundation in the shade 22 chocolates for those who've been asking that's my perfect shade perfect shade spray that brush and then so i put my foundation on the places that i want to you get i think i've put so much foundation here but so i'll start with like my contour base so this will help um clean out the harsh lines and also connect the whole makeup to my face do you see that it kind of makes it I don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know how to say it then i also apply down here because 
you want your makeup to be flawless and match your, your neck i go in with my concealer brush again to just touch up where i feel has been eaten up a lot so like i lift this a bit just to make sure my cheekbones are precise I'm gonna use my Zaron um, Co Zaron Cosmetic Mattifying Powder in Z35 just cause it's a little bit like close to my skin tone I don't usually highlight with this but I'm going to be in the sun for a while and I don't want it to be harsh harsh white on me I just tap um, and then place it. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me, the shade Mocha, Mocha. And then I'm just gonna clean out everything. Is it picking shimmer? I think I used this brush on a highlighter. Okay. Then I contour my nose. So guys here is my wig oh this is not my address my wig is from fashion hair i'm gonna put the link to the order i'm actually going to put the link today this time um i decided to go with this wig most of you liked it and i loved it too so let me start by turning this lace into something close to my skin color um should i use a powder or foundation let me see how the powder is working it's not good okay now i'm just gonna use a foundation Let's put it, put it on the floor. concealer was on my hand oh please do not have applied on the wig Let's cut the lace. Let's cut the lace. Let's cut the lace. 
I hope you guys can see. this part okay I love it I feel like it looks good just being full. It looks good being full. It's giving body. It's giving African. It's giving. I was born like this. It looks so good. My face already looks different. So let me dress up, show you guys my outfit, and then let's go take photos. Guys, <laughs> why do I look like my mom? Oh my god, I look like my mom. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I have forgotten to show you guys my outfit. But I'm headed to... I hope the sun is still where I needed it to be. Because if not, then it would be kind of pointless. Ah! This hair and lip gloss thing. I look so cute. I look so grown. I look like my mom. Wow. I guess it's an interview like a chani chungulia because this there's a place I had seen it a gym that looks like it would match this beige nude look but it kinda looks like the sun is no longer there. And if it's not do I have to find another place? I've already started receiving compliments like for some reason people here really appreciate if you're african if you go to your roots like if you actually look african if i make attempts to look westernized they really don't care that much but every time i look african they're like oh my god you look so beautiful ah! <laughs> it's not too humid also so the sun is not there. The sun is not there. This is bad. This is bad. The other option is to just do it at the parking lot. I have found this background that I'm going to use. I think it's in Ghana. It will give or take. By let me set up my tripod. There could be people in this building they could be looking at me but i can't i can't give a f about all those things right now so make sure you like my pictures i go through a lot <laughs> so i had not showed you guys my outfit i want to show you guys my outfit in this background before i leave i already taken with photos and i wanted to leave but i want to show you guys my outfit today it's not that humid the sun is not too hot my makeup is sitting right i got uh, an email yesterday that i've received a package i know what it is i just i'm so excited to see it it's a bag so i'm going to pick it up because the mail room is close to where i was taking photos and then go back to my room maybe i do a quick unboxing with you guys but i have a where is it like i keep 
thinking I'm lost every time I use this under underpass. Okay, so I want to go for a boat lake, a boat ride at the school lake, at the campus lake. Um, I made a friend who stays at the accommodation with me. She's Senegalese. And I was like, you want to go to the boat with me? And she said, yes. So, yeah, we were supposed to go at two. It's like one something right now. So I just want to go pick my mail, go back, take photos of it, and then head to the boat. I can't wait. The first time I had seen it, it had said something like you have to book online, but I'd been trying to find the place to book it. I can't find it. So I just hope they will let us get on the boat without booking in advance. Because Peter Akuna Watuing give leo, so. I've been here for like 10 minutes just trying to open the doors and they're not opening. According to their timeline, they're supposed to be open today from 11 to 8 p.m. It's 1 p.m. I mean, I don't get why it's not open. And I'll just try on Monday, Sasa. That means you guys will see the bag in the next vlog. Hi, Bo, and to many more partnerships, guys. To many, many more partnerships. I am so excited. I know the bag arrived. I'll just have to pick it up on Monday. So let me go get ready. I don't know if I still want to wear this outfit or something different. But let me go get ready for my boat ride. <laughs> It is so calm. It is. And you can 
just talk about everything, take photos, and just. Uh. You can do that in the carbon dioxide boyfriend. <laughs> Not the carbon dioxide boyfriend. <laughs> Have you gone on dates here? No. Why? You really hated this place. Mm -mm. <laughs> These people, not for me. <laughs> it's crazy. Never. Not for you. Never dating this people. At all. I've gone on dates, but not to like seriously oh, date. Here? Yeah. Already? Already? I started going on dates my first week here. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went, I've been going on dates every time, I'm sorry. Like with people in like in the dorm? No, the no one from the dorm. I don't think I can do with anyone from the dorm. I don't know. <laughs> you are over it. You stepped here and you are over this place. So yes. it makes sense. I don't want anyone. Yeah. Mm, you just don't. I had a friend. Yeah. But I just didn't enter the relationship. Uh -huh. I didn't know anything. I think this is why at the end of the semester, uh -huh. he didn't text me back. <laughs> He's like, this girl yeah, does not know. want yeah. me. So I just made him from the Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not as friends as we were doing this thing. Mm -hmm. So this made me think like, so you were not with me, right? Yeah. Like you yeah, you didn't get it, so yeah. you're like, cool. So guys we came back to the dorm she wants to go buy something at the mall so i want to go take her because i have nothing else to do and she's told me that there's a really nice place at the mall that i can buy heels from i really want to buy heels especially for my birthday <laughs> so i want to go check it out and see if i can get something let me even carry my card see if i can get something see if she can get something and then we'll come back and then i'll close this vlog Hey, told me about all your insights. 
insecurities for what? Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck. That's that shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the ink in it, getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing, had a nigga come huffing, got me too excited. this shoe and then i'm like it's probably expensive and look it has a sale is this a sign wow this could be really nice birthday shoes if you ask me at 19 dollars ah I feel like god is just spoiling me for my birthday because everything like the bag is not yet here but i know it will be so cute it's matching my dress and then i've gotten the shoes on an offer and i also got the dress on an offer god is spoiling me bro ah, i'm so happy let me get them out
looking at the makeup products and they're not expensive just don't buy so many of them at once if you buy them like if i buy moja moja it's easier because i've seen like this this powder that i've been seeing online and it's just 15 dollars so if i'm just buying this alone it would make sense but if i have to buy like so many makeup products it will be expensive like i'm at the l'oreal <laughs> see shop dubois then a mimi na shop alta beauty she said that one You don't feel like that is the one? You want a lighter one or a darker one? Hey guys! <laughs> it's just me and my birthday shoes! I truly believe, like let me tell you, I truly believe this is all God because I had written on my vision board that I want a fashion over a cute fashion over dress for my birthday and I got it at a thrift store at perfect condition and then I was like okay now I have the dress now I need hair I need to because I, I didn't want to wear my hair on that day and I got wigs and I was like okay now I have hair and a wig I was like now I need a bag because this is the only bag I've been having and then that bag the brand um that sent over the bag reached out and the bag is already here and it matches my dress because I, I picked they sent they told me to pick from the site I picked the one that matches my dress so there's that and then for the shoes I was like I really wanted affordable shoes because I didn't want to spend so much money on on heels. I don't I'm not really a heel girly. I love the aesthetics. I just don't want to be in them for more than 30 minutes. Okay, they're just to look cute. Like and I need a car. I need someone to drive me around if I'm gonna have heels on. So I was like, I really need a, uh, I really need heels, but I don't want to to break a bank because most of them on Amazon were like fifty dollars, sixty dollars. They were cute, but I was just like, hey, fifty dollars for a pair of shoe, bro. That is a wig, and I was just like, no. So when we were going, I told this girl that I've been looking for heels, and she was like, oh, there's this shoe shop, shoe store. You can go and look and and see if you can find something. And I kid you not, there were so many other shoes that were on offer, but most of them, the like the sale was like the 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 sale was like up to forty dollars. But this one, this shoe, I know I've already showed you guys, but this shoe, literally thirty nine dollars, and the offer got me the sale got me nineteen dollars, and these shoes are home, my baby. My babies but they're they're silver so i'll have to have silver jewelry but still do you see how cute these shoes are wow 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 Ooh. these are gonna be in the box until my birthday it's my birthday i'ma do what i like I'm getting excited so fast. Like, <sighs> are y'all excited for my birthday like I am? Or is it just me? Is it just me? <laughs> anyway, I want to read you guys the word because I feel like this vlog is already long enough. I want to read you guys the word so that I can close this vlog. I get every time I post a video, this I'll always get a DM or a comment that's saying the word really impacted them in a way that I could not understand. And sometimes I'm just like, maybe God wants me to, because I read the Bible regularly. And if you don't read the Bible regularly, but you watch my videos regularly, then you do read the Bible. I'm not saying that you should only read the bible through me but i'm just telling you 
it's a step it's a step if six thousand of you watch my videos and get the word that i'm sure god is pleased god is happy with me with you guys and that's all that matters my word for the day comes from matthew chapter matthew chapter 15 verse 13 to 20 and it says so jesus was answering he had given a parable and people were not understanding it people are not comprehending it so he was um no people got it but the pharisees were offended sorry yeah people got it's when the pharisees had asked him why he's letting his disciples eat with dirty hands and the traditions um say that you should follow you know a certain type of things like rituals to make sure you're clean so that you can eat and he said he told them um the bible says verse 13 says he answered every plant that my heavenly father has not planted will be rooted up let them alone they are blind guides and if the blind lead the blind both will fall into a pit but Caesar, but peter said to him explain the parable to us and he said are you still also without understanding do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled but whatever comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart and this defiles a person for out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false witness slander these are what defile a person but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile a person so this is like just trying to see if what you're doing is is like against god or against because sometimes you can get yourself stuck into my church doesn't allow this my parents don't allow this my community don't allow this you can stuck into the traditions of where you were raised or how you were raised but really does god like the whole point should be what does god allow i don't care what everyone else allow i don't care if this is what is trending right now what will get me to please god is my biggest you know goal so he's jesus literally says whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled meaning you can get like you can how can i say like people can say bad things to you like people can feed negative thoughts to you you can go through negative things you can go through painful situations you can go through hard times I hope it was funny you can go to so many things that are meant to like break you or break your faith or break your character but what comes in the things that you go through they don't defile you just because you are born in poverty doesn't mean you are meant to be poor just because you are born in a hateful family doesn't mean you are meant to be hateful that's just because you are you are from um a violent environment doesn't mean you have to be violent so whatever comes in can can go can easily go like yes i was born in poverty but i'm not meant to be poor so i'm not gonna live in poverty i'm not gonna have the mindset of a poor person so as much as it came in it left but if you let it stay in if you let it define you if you let it control your character if you let it define who you are then that is the wrong part because it says whatever comes out of the mouth not what goes in whatever comes out of your mouth proceeds the heart whatever comes out of your mouth comes from your heart if you be hateful to people if you speak negative things to people if you try to hurt people like you've ever heard the saying hurt people hurt people it's because that is what is in their heart i am hurt so uh, how dare you be happy when i am hurt let's all be hurt i am jealous like let's all be jealous let's all be miserable let's all feel whatever comes from your heart whatever comes from your mouth is what is in your heart so you might say i'm always like mina kwanga tuivo i'm i'm just born i was born like that i'm a, you don't know where i come from 
where you come from should not define you what is in your heart is what defines you you'll see people who are raised by really mean people but they end up being the nicest people because they did not let their surrounding define them for out of the heart comes evil thoughts murder adultery sexual immorality theft false twist false witness slander so if you ever have any evil thoughts just know that is something that is in your heart and that's why god is always after the heart because the mouth y'all can say anything the mouth can say anything like i'm your biggest fan or i'm like i'm rooting for you but in your heart you're the one who truly knows how you feel about someone else you're the one who truly knows how you feel about your situation you're the one who truly knows how you feel and you can control that you can ask god to remove any evil thoughts from your heart any murder adultery sexual immorality theft god can help you with that it might take time but it's gonna happen so just know that whatever you speak whatever you say and i feel like that's why they say the power of the tongue because whatever you say is what is in your heart if you say i cannot do this i'm I don't deserve this that is how you feel in your heart you're not just saying it that is actually how you feel so yeah i'm gonna leave you with that think about like examine what you say on a daily basis examine what you say to yourself examine what you say to other people examine what you say when you're in a crowd when you're alone examine your thoughts and just make sure you have a heart that pleases god not an outward appearance a heart that pleases god okay guys anyway if you reached to this point thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for always supporting me thank you for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed guys this is your sign to subscribe if you have subscribed you know i love you um this was a very beautiful vlog this was a very beautiful vlog like i'm so happy Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I love you guys so much. So much. So much. This is my favorite app for sure. For sure. And my favorite hair. I just got my earrings off. but Bye, guys. <laughs>